Summer's coming, and this week we discuss thermogenic supplements for fat burning. It's a big one with me, Dr. Brad McEwen, nutrition expert, naturopath, herbalist, educator, researcher. He's won a heap of awards in relation to a lot of those areas, and he's got over 19 years clinical experience. Let's hear what he's got to say. Welcome to the Body Science Podcast, bringing you everything you need, want, and should know about health, fitness, nutrition, and training. As always, the information contained in this podcast is for the information purposes only and is not designed to diagnose or be prescriptive to treat, prevent, or manage any injury, disease, or other health-related condition. This podcast is brought to you by Hydroxy Burn Shred. Get in the fat burning zone, both physically and mentally, with this potent combination of thermogenic fat burners and mood boosting nootropic ingredients. Scientifically designed to help you reach your weight loss goals, destroy stubborn fat cells, speed metabolism, boost energy, and improve your mood. With an industry leading four grams of acetyl L carnitine plus green tea extract, guarana, and hydroxy citric acid, Hydroxy Burn Shred will take your training and weight loss journey to a whole new level. Hey, welcome to the Body Science Podcast, where it's all about being fit, happy, and healthy. Today, we have a very exciting uh, co-host, Dr. Brad McEwen. He's a nutrition expert, naturopath, herbalist, educator, researcher, and mentor with over 19 years of clinical experience. Dr. Brad has a PhD from the University of Sydney, a Master's of Health Science in Human Nutrition from Deakin, and among his other qualifications include naturopathy. Is that the right way to say it? That's it. Yeah, and sports medicine. He's got a real passion for teaching and educating and has been working with our sales team a fair bit in that capacity recently, which has uh, seen our team very excited. Look, with over 15 years of experience, some of the things that have happened on the way, and I just need to take a breath and reread this because this, this, this goes on. Brad received the Herbert Hard Mammon Young Investigator Award. That was, Is yes, that how you say it? That's exactly right. For? So from basis uh, hemostasis and... Um, it's a very big award. It's an international award to do with um, research and education. Wow. And one of the exciting things is people from Princeton, mm-hmm. all the way through Europe, have won this award. So not many people from Australia. So I felt very That's excited amazing. to, I'm to clap get that this. one in. Yeah, so it's really exciting work. I'm going to have to cut you off there because I'm only halfway through. You've also received an Excellence in Practice Lecturer for Research of the Year for the Dorothy Hall Memorial Award. Did I say that right? For the Advancement of Natural Medicine in Australia. Yep. That's huge. Mate, I'm just going to take a sip of my coffee, <laughs> relax, a bit nervous about this one. This year was finalist for Practitioner of the Year in 2017. What does that mean? What's a Practitioner so, of the Year? So Practitioner, as I'm a naturopath, nutritionist and herbalist, yep. so you get nominated yep. for um, the work that you do, like helping with patients and, you know, and the public as well. So it's quite exciting to be nominated. And last year I was also nominated for Lecturer of the Year as well. So Nice. So, You're a busy man. Yeah, I am, I'm busy. I'm very passionate. I love what I'm doing. Yeah, great. So, and you just keep moving forward. It's exciting times. So let's talk about some of your peer review and your journals you've been in. So you've quote, touched areas of diet, nutrition, cardiovascular health, type 2 diabetes. There's a whole lot of words here that I can't even pronounce. That's all right. Um, so I have a wide range of different interests. One, of course, is sports medicine, sports nutrition, which yep. we're going to talk about today, as well as, you know, cardiometabolic syndrome, which is all related to like blood glucose regulation and metabolism. It's a big topic um, these days. It's a very it? big topic and we'll be covering that too. And it's sort of all these things relate to not just general health, but optimizing health. Yeah. That's Getting the best one. out of everything each day. Love it. So today I'm around the topic of optimizing health. I'm going to throw a little curveball at you. I'd like to chat today about thermogenics. What should nice. we look for in a thermo? Why do people take them? Who should take them? You know, the thermogenics are a massive category in sports nutrition, as you'd be aware of. There's um, left and right side of defense type thermogenics out there as well, which we'll not worry too much about delving into what other people are doing, but we'll talk That's about right. what we're doing. And obviously the product we make is called Hydroxyburn Shred. So do you want to talk about the formula? Yeah, that'd be great. Um, firstly, you know, when we're looking for some kind of, you know, thermogenic, what is a thermogenic? Good question. So look, looking at the name of it, it just means genesis of heat, mm-hmm. if you look at it that way. But when we're looking at sports nutrition and performance and the everyday warrior kind of effect, the thermogenesis is also building up metabolism, mm-hmm. activity, you know, sustainability, getting to the end of the day and not feeling as tired. Yep. That's the kind of things that thermogenesis works with as well. Okay. It's that building up that metabolism. And when looking for a combination of you know, different herbs and nutrients, one thing to look for is the quality of the formula. 
but also looking at the synergy of the formula. Yeah, nice. Synergy. So yeah. it's it's a synergy. You can have a you can have a really nice formula, and you look at it and go, no, nah, what's doing? Mm. You know, what is this formula trying to do? They're just throwing in a thousand things, and it looks one, on the label. Looks on the label, a milligram of each or something like that. Yeah. it's not therapeutic. It's not therapeutically designed in any fashion. Okay. So, yeah, we are looking at hydroxybone tread. Yep. Like you said, great product. I'm very excited with this one over the years. So it's very good. Um, one of the first ones I do look for in, as an ingredient is Garcinia. Okay. And it's had its ebbs and flows the last couple of years. It's been on some TV shows and blogs and stuff it's like that. the famous that. doctor in America who pulled Garcinia into the world, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And, and highlight? Highlight. And, and the exciting <laughs> thing is, is I first worked in a health food store back in 1992, <laughs> back in the olden days. And um, they, they didn't have Garcinia, but they had hydroxy citric acid. Yes. And that was from the Brindleberry at the time. Yeah. So Garcinia is more of a potent form of the hydroxy citric acid. Mm -hmm. And the way how this works is it builds up the metabolism, yep. thermogenesis, works with appetite suppression, but you will still eat, yes. but just not as much. It's not like that pharmaceutical kind. Yeah, okay. As well as, you know, working on the energetic pathways. So particularly fatty acid metabolism. Nice. And if you combine that with, you know, a good dose of acetyl carnitine, it's that combination, like I was saying, synergy. It's yes. that flow of the formula. And looking at, you know, the dosage of, you know, acetylcarnitine, this four grams a day, that's a good dose. Yeah. So it's well, a good dose. It's one of the highest in the industry. And I don't think a lot of people actually understand what a clinical dose is. And, and, and that's the tricky thing. When you look at therapeutics and clinical dose versus something that's just written on the label, people get mixed up very easily. Mm. So in this case, if we're looking at a therapeutic formula, a clinical kind of dose, we need to look around the four grams a day because you're going to get the results. Yep. And the way how this works, we're going to talk a bit of biochemistry, is in the body you have like a Krebs cycle. And the way I see that is like a big turbine on a plane. Okay. And it actually has a – I want you to imagine it spin it. Yep. When that turbine slows down, the machinery of the cell slows down and you get tired overall. The muscle gets tired, the body feels tired, your mind gets tired. And then overall, you just feel, you know, really tired and fatigued. What acetylcarnitine does, it pretty much picks up the, the fats, the fatty acids, and drives it into the Krebs cycle okay. through something they call beta oxidation. So it's like a side thing, shuttles it through. Most people look at, you know, glycolysis as a form of energy. So you're just breaking down carbohydrates and glucose. On the side chain of that, you're breaking down fats. And that's part of your thermogenesis okay. as well as your energetics. And this will give you your long-term stamina and endurance, burning off the fats. And if anyone's using this as to shred, to, to lose <laughs> some weight, et cetera, and look good, you, know, you need to be able to pick up those fats and utilize them more effectively. And that's where the acetyl carnitine comes in versus normal carnitine. Yep. So the normal carnitine, if I can call it that, does a good job. Acetyl carnitine drives it in faster and does a much better job of doing it. Okay. It also works with um, the mental side, as we we're discussing earlier, you know, before the show. Um, it's the memory, concentration, and focus. So when you're training, you're working out, and you, you, know, you may be in, you know, the Olympics or Commonwealth Games or some other event. You want to be able to have that focus and drive, and you're going for gold. Yes. You know what I mean? And things like carnitine, acetyl carnitine, particularly gain that focus, gain that drive and drive you forward and your body follows. Nice. So you can have the big heart yep. and then the good mind for it, the focus, and then the body follows and you get through it. Faster recovery too. Will to win. Oh, faster recovery. Faster recovery because okay. it's allowing you to sort of pick up the leftover fats that's in the bloodstream after the workout yep. or after the event and you can burn that off so you get a better recovery. Okay. That's interesting. We'll have to talk about more about that later. Yeah, it's exciting stuff. Um, other things we do look at is um, caffeine. Mm -hmm. So I've got some of my own caffeine right oh, here for everyone a to hit a caffeine. Yeah, a bit, bit of caffeine here. Um, and the way how caffeine, it, yes, it does work as a stimulant, which is what everyone knows, but it's also an antioxidant, mm -hmm. anti inflammatory. There's a lot of work with vascular blood flow. Okay. So it's what a vasodilator is what it's called. So it opens up the arteries and veins, gets the circulation running more effectively. So by doing that, you can actually get these herbs and nutrients to the target tissue faster. Shovel Think of it, it on. like that. Shovel it on, get it in there faster. And caffeine, yeah, again, it's a mental stimulant. So again, it's that focus and drive. And the best thing about this, we're getting a very good therapeutic dose. It's a perfect way to do it. 
and it's not going to give you the jitters. Yeah. Like if you were to have a couple of coffees, you get that sort of weird jitter feeling. These kind of, um, with this product particularly, I haven't seen that with anyone. Okay. And I sold buckets of this stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I've never seen that, never seen that effect. So to me, as I said, it's a synergy. It's a formula. And then we've got other elements in there as well. And we'll go through a lot more detail yep. as well because of... You know, it's quite a great formula, is we're looking at tyrosine. Yeah, tyrosine's really become quite popular mm. in the last couple of years in sports nutrition. So what do you think that is? So I think tyrosine's mainly used for like thyroid function, so mm-hmm. metabolism, and which is true. So what it does, I want you to imagine you've got thyroid hormone and as part of it you have a backbone, which is a tyrosine, yep. then you have your iodines attached. There's something called T4, which is your, your normal form of thyroid hormone, mm-hmm. four iodines. Then you have your T3, which is three iodines. Yep. And as part of that process, and when you have a good nutrient flow, particularly when you combine it with other formulas, so we're looking at companion products okay. here, um, you're able to increase your metabolic rate, general metabolism. And a lot of people these days, they feel tired, weak, sluggish. They drag themselves out of bed. The whole energy pathway system is sluggish. Yes. It's just modern life, you know. And if you combine it with, again, like the acetylcarnitine and other nutrients, you can stimulate that flow again, get that energetic pathway up and running. And the other thing that tyrosine does, it works down different pathways for serotonin, melatonin. So we're looking at the feel-good stuff. Yeah, you've got to feel good. You have to feel good. You have yep. to you know, you have that drive and focus going. But also as part of that, you work with your daily rhythm. So people think of, you know, circadian rhythm. Yes. We all hear about that. But there's also something called diurnal rhythm, and that's our day-night, hot, cold. It's our everyday rhythm. Circadian rhythm is good because it's 24 hours a day, but at the right temperature, everything doesn't change. Mm -hmm. It's stable. But I don't know about you, the world changes every day. Every minute. Every minute. It's changing. So therefore, if you regulate your diurnal pattern, and it's tyrosine is one of the nutrients for this, even acetylcarnitine, caffeine works with it as well. Okay. So some people I know have a little bit of caffeine before bed. And you think, well, does it keep you awake? And it's like, no, because it actually gets into the system, let's say it nourishes the system. And when I wake up in the morning, I'm firing. Yeah, okay. So there's a combo kind of effect there. In this case here, the tyrosine, serotonin, melatonin, working with the thyroid hormone. So it's metabolism, but also the feel good. Yep. So you're not on edge. Nice. That's the perfect thing about it. Well, that's good. Is it, do you think it's important to have the emotion and the mood pathway, is that the word you used before? Pathway, yeah. Associated with a thermogenic? I think so because the reason being is we always hear about the mind, body, spirit. Yep. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people talk about that or mental, emotional, physical, and some people think of it as a little bit airy. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? But I see us as a whole. And if you only work on one part, the rest of the body can't follow effectively. Yep. So if you can work on... The mind, body, spirit, the mental, physical, emotional, balance everything out perfectly. You get better focus, better drive. You're moving forward in life. And like I said earlier, is if you're a weekend warrior, Olympic athlete, or you know, or just do a little bit of training just for physical health and well-being, you know what I mean? The idea is if you actually maintain overall good health, it's a perfect way to do it. Okay. Better recovery, better stamina endurance. And the benefit for this as well is you could be a um, high-level executive mm-hmm. sitting in your office all day, none of this 9 to 5, you're in the office at 7, you're leaving at 7 a.m., leaving at 8 p.m., like you're working hard and you don't get time to work out physically but you're working out mentally. Yes. You're doing a lot of work that way. This kind of combination would help that as well. Okay, so you would use this thermogenic, oh, the hydroxyburn shred on non-training days as well. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yeah, I have... I have um, full faith in the product that way okay. to do it. Um, some people just do it on training days, yep. like where we're we going. Um, but to me, perfect, you can do that. But when you think about it, if you are a high-level executive, every day is a training day. Yeah, exactly. It's a different way of thinking. Yep. So in that case, take it. You know, Some people may take it breakfast and lunch, mm-hmm. so split the dose. So that's your, um, you know, for example, two and a half Garcinia breakfast and lunch or just five in one go, you know, yeah. and some people just take it beginning of the day. So here's a big question everybody wants to know, because obviously 
Um, on the label, we say it can be used as a, as a pre-workout. So take the day dose once and take it once a day, or you can split it before breakfast, before lunch, or as you just said, some people can take tolerate caffeine at night and sleep beautifully. So how would you have, can I throw a couple of scenarios at you here? Perfect. We've got a young female, 20s, training a couple of days a week, you know, want to lose a bit of weight, feel good about themselves coming to summer. How would you have them take this product? So they want to feel toned and terrific? Toned and terrific. Toned and terrific. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So the advice, if they came to see me, yep. so I'm their practitioner, they came to see me, I'd be doing it every day, mm -hmm. not just on their training days because yep. that way you get the energetics of the person up and running. Okay. They feel good. They get more motivation, more drive and focus. Yep. And by doing that, yeah, you're feeling good. But also you're able to achieve more. Mm -hmm. You get more done in that day. And if you maintain the consistency... That's the main thing. Maintain the consistency. You know, we're heading into that time point. Toned and terrific. Yeah. So I have a perfect issue. So would you have them taking morning and lunch or one in the morning before training or how, how would you have that person take that? That's a good question. What I would do is on um, if they're training in the morning, I'd do the double. Yep. Okay. Do it that way. Yep. And on their off days, one before breakfast, one before lunch. Yep. So I know sometimes people might forget, you know, which way to do it, just take it and i'm going to say once they get into the rhythm mm -hmm. literally a week of doing it yeah it's automatic now okay so training days do the full dose or the double dose in this case do it before what do you recommend about 30 minutes yeah we, we push 30 minutes like 30 that's minutes a pretty perfect in, yeah industry standard yeah okay second person like while, while we're picking brains here we, we won't touch the executive right now but i've got a 40 year old bricklayer how would you have them take the product and sometimes people have a bit of a joke about the 40-year-old bricklayer. It's like, what are they doing just laying bricks? It's like, there's actually a lot of work. That's an eight-hour workout. It's an eight-hour workout, five days a week. Yeah. So it's full-on heavy. But it's also accuracy mm -hmm. and focus because you have to – it sounds funny, you're just laying bricks, but you're not. Yeah. You're building something. That's the thing. You're building something. So you're actually laying down these bricks, making sure the concrete's layered out, the bricks are evenly spaced – just for the aesthetic look, toned and terrific. Yeah. But also <laughs> for the structure. So the structure has to be perfect as well and it has to last. Yep. So it's actually a lot of pressure, a lot of mental acuity, lining it all up, and a lot of physical work doing it. So for them, and also heading towards warm weather, they're going to be sweating as well, or even during winter because yeah, okay. they're physically active eight hours a day, Absolutely, like what yeah. you're saying. So for me, I'd be doing before breakfast. I'd be suggesting before lunch. Okay. Because that way it gives them that sort of longer style eight-hour workout effect, better recovery at the end of the day. Yeah, nice. Better and I, I've even had some people take an extra one later on. Well, you're allowed to say that because you have a clinical practice. We have label requirements. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it does say, or as advised by your healthcare professional. Healthcare professional. So, guys, get on board. So, let's now talk about... Some, you know, this new generation of 50-year-olds that are training, loving life. The kids have moved out if they're lucky. If they're lucky. <laughs> uh, they're starting to do a lot more functional style training. Um, you know, people challenge, what does that mean? I'm, I'm, what I'm talking about is they're not bodybuilding specifically. They're just moving their, their bones, trying to get their heart rate up, trying to work well. How would somebody like this apply hydroxyburn shred into their lifestyle? Like obviously the word hydroxyburn shred doesn't sound like, gee, that's a health and wellness product. Mm. I need to get that into my life at this age. But, you know, 50 is the new 30. So that's it. What, how, are we, how are we talking to someone in that, in that age group to take this product? Okay. Or why would they take this product? Well, these are all good questions because this is something that's going through their mind. Mm. So they go into a um, health food store or yeah. wherever they're going to and they're saying, like you said, I'm becoming physically active. I'm in the next phase of my life. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to the beach. I'm going for walks, doing light or heavy gym work. doesn't matter yep. what it is. And I want better recovery. I want better endurance. And I just want to get through the day better and get more out of it mm -hmm. as well and feel healthier because I'm in the next phase. They may be worried about, you know, chronic diseases, et cetera. Yep. Yeah. Because you know, that's why they're becoming more physically active to sort of stave that away. Mm -hmm. In this case, with this kind of formula, it is workable. Mm -hmm. There's no problem, unless they have a physical health condition that they need to go and see their doctor about. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. Always check with your doctor. Always check with the doctor. Um, but the thing is, the combination of nutrients in this formula, like we are saying earlier, 
It's mood, energetics, recovery, stamina, endurance. So the idea behind this is going to help their mental acuity. So if they're worrying about, you know, cognition issues later on, mm -hmm. like they're doing crosswords and it's taking a bit yeah, longer or something yeah. else like that, this kind of formula, going back to acetylcarnitine, yep. the tyrosine, those metabolic boosters are going to allow that focus and drive. So, so it extends way past the actual training session. Way past. Way past. Uh, th this formula has numerous applications, much more than we've got time for to talk about yep. today. You know what I mean? Yep. But it has multiple uses. And, you know, you could be a university student, like we were saying earlier, you know, before the, before the podcast. Um, you got the 50s. you got the 41-year-old bricklayer. You know, you got all these different people. And these are all different groups of people with all different needs. Yes. And the needs may be more physical or more emotional or more, you know, mental. And the way how the synergism of this formula works, it's the companionship of the molecules or the nutrients in there that makes a difference. Mm -hmm. So the formulation itself. And by combining it this way, you have greater application and then sustained results as well. That's the exciting thing about it. Fantastic. That's exciting. Thermogenics everywhere. Let's talk about manufacturing standards and what, what should people look for when they're going to buy a thermogenic at a retail store? So one of the main things to look at is, you know, how the label's laid out. Mm -hmm. Is it nice and clean, easy to read? Yep. It's one of the first things you do. And then in Australia particularly, we have very strict good manufacturing practice is what it's called. So they're looking at the safety, the quality. And one of the big issues we're looking at, of course, is stability. Yeah, stability. Okay. Stability is a very big thing. And a lot of products get tested, you know, every three months from the moment it's manufactured from baseline. 3, 6, 12, 18, et cetera. And you're talking about a, thera a therapeutic product here? Therapeutic products. And where that's listed with is the Therapeutic Goods Administration, mm -hmm. or the TGA as we've referred to it. Yep. And this is an Australian government body that has listed medicines. And listed medicines have very strict you know, guidelines of how they're manufactured, how they're stored, how they're tested for stability. So yep. after two years of manufacture, they have to still have exactly what was in it when it was first manufactured. So meat label claim at expiry date. Meat label claim at expiry date versus food products. So food products, of course, have some kind of you know, safety and quality because yep. we're consuming it, but the level versus a listed medicine or a therapeutic listed medicine is not the same. So what should people be looking for when they want to find a therapeutic product? Very good question. So when you're looking for a therapeutic product, one, it will normally have something similar to that being said on there, mm -hmm. you know, therapeutically formulated. Yep. But then on the front panel, it normally has something what they call an OSTEL. Okay. So it's an Australian listing number. And that means it's a listed medicine versus a food. So this is, again, the stringent detail there. Yep. And it has a code number there. And that code number stays with the life of that product. Yes. And that way it's been tested for safety, quality, and stability over time. And that's a big thing, stability. It's a very big thing. You have thing. no idea what you put in your mouth sometimes. That's it. And... It comes down to, you know, what you get, what you pay for, you know, that old <laughs> saying. And that, that's what it means. You get what you pay for. So you pay your money on a product and, and you're checking it, you're reading it, and you want to make sure that it has, you know, 2.5 grams of Garcinia per serve, for example. And in this case, it has that. A lot of brands don't even tell you what they've got in there. And, and that's a tricky thing. And that's where they haven't gone through possibly the same safety quality checks because it's not listed medicine. So in that case, you know, for me, I like to know what I'm getting. Yep. And also I like to know that if I buy it today and I'm taking it next month and the month after, like I, I'm not taking it as prescribed. Yep. To be a bit lazy or something. You might have bought three at once. Well, I may have bought a three deal. Yeah. And in that case, you want to make sure that, you know, in three months' time, for example, the stability has shown that it's exactly what's in there is what is in there at that time point. Fantastic. All the way up to past expiry in some companies. So good quality stuff. Fantastic. Well, hydroxyburn shred is a listed medicine. Is that the correct wording that you like to use when you talk about Ostel products? Perfect. Listed medicine. So people shouldn't be afraid to go and ask for a listed medicine or how, how would you ask your naturopath? How would you ask your retailer if you want a therapeutic versus a food supplement? So what you do, you go into the retailer and you say, look, I'm after a good quality listed medicine, you know, to to shred in this case, or to be tone and terrific, <laughs> tone right. and terrific, you know, yeah. and you want quality and safety. You also, the safety is the other word I yeah. want to emphasize as well, because it's the safety knowing what's in there is what's in there and the doses are correct. Yeah. 
It's the quality. So you walk in there and say, I'm after a, a therapeutic formula that's a listed medicine, and away we go. Fantastic. And when you're talking about safety, you're not talking about, gee, it's safe to take. You're talking about what's on the label is in the product. So that's what makes it safe. That's what right. you're reading is what you're getting. What you're reading is what you're getting. Yep. So good point, actually. Yep. There's two points to that. Is We don't want people to think it's soft because it's safe. That's right. It's And, and that's the thing that I, I hear from time to time. Mm. Oh, it's a soft product because it's safe and it's blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I don't know where you're coming from. You know what I mean? This is actually, for me, when I'm looking at a product, this is high quality. Safe is good. Mm. You want to be safe. But also, I now know that this product is high quality. It has what I'm looking for. I can read the label and it has exactly what's in it. And those actives are in there until expiry date. That's right. And it's been tested, safety and quality. And you know what you're getting. So, And that's the exciting thing about it. So in Australia, the standards are very, very high, mm -hmm. highest in the world. We actually have a lot of countries look at our standards. That's fantastic too. We should be proud of that. We're very proud of it. Yeah. So Dr. Brad, we might wrap that one up here. We'll put some of your published research up. Would that be a problem? That's all good with me. And um, I'll give further contact details as well. That should be our ad. Fantastic. Thanks so much for your time today. Really appreciate you on board. We're going to get you back next week to talk about some other products. I enjoyed that. No worries. Thank you. Today's podcast was brought to you by our partners in Fit, Happy and Healthy, ASN, Nutrition Warehouse, DY Discount Vitamins, Fat Burners Only, Evelyn Fay, Mr. Supplement, or find a retailer online at bodyscience.com.au forward slash retailers.